Des Moines, and all of Central Iowa, welcome to Max World Live. Max World is your world. Every day we talk about the issues and topics that matter most to you. And as always, it's your voice we want to hear in Max World. So join the conversation by calling 515-244-0077. And now, here's the host of Max World Live, J. Michael McCoy. Good afternoon. It is 3.07 on a Friday. This is November 6, 2015. My name is Chris Roloff. I'm not J. Michael McCoy, but uh, I like that guy. J. Michael McCoy is a good, good friend. Uh, he's still a little bit under the weather. He was sick yesterday. He's still a little bit ill today, but I think he's going to be doing better soon. In fact, I hope he's going to be doing better soon because Saturday, tomorrow, we've got more Mac. That's right. Normally, Mac does his show Monday through Friday uh, from 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, every weekday right here on 99.3. But tomorrow, we're going to get two extra hours of Mac. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a good... Th Please don't... I, I already hear from the production booth complaints about this. But we're going to be broadcasting live. 99.3 will be broadcasting live from the Freedom Conference. Uh, it is going on right now uh, in Des Moines. Freedom Conference 2015, you guys, uh, regular listeners of 99.3 as you are, you guys already know about the Freedom Conference, uh, but uh, that's going on right now, and tomorrow, this whole crew of people will be broadcasting live uh, from 2 to 4. The live broadcast from the event will start at 11 o'clock, uh, will be done by, uh, what did I say, 4 o'clock? Is that five hours, Frank? Yes. 11 to 4? 11 to 4 is five hours. You're so good at math. Yeah, I... <laughs> You're good at that. So our regular cast of characters, minus Mac, are here. Ryan is producing. Frank DeVerse Thomas is here. Bob Monserrat, the cat in the hat, is watching the chat. It's like in my... It, it, what's so crazy about this, I say this all the time, Bob. When I say your full name, it just... Bob Monserrat, the cat in the hat. It just all rolls out. I've heard that so many... How many <laughs> years have the, has that been pounded into our head? About Frank, seven. About seven years. Frank, you haven't quite got to seven years of the yes. name pounded into the head, but soon you will get there. Soon you will get there. And uh, on our first hour, we're going to talk politics uh, from three to four, mostly talk politics. Now, for four o'clock, uh, we've got a special guest who is a regular special guest on this program, uh, Kevin Johnson, who wrote a book about a book. He wrote a book about the book of Revelation. Uh, it's a great book of the Bible, one that many people have questions about a book in the Bible that uh, has as many different interpretations, I think, as there are uh, days in the week or hairs on Frank's head. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a difficult book to understand, one that a lot of people um, never even wrote commentaries about. Did you guys know that? John Calvin, as an example, yes. never actually, he wrote a book, he wrote a commentary on every book of the Bible except Revelation. Uh, and I just don't think he never got around to it. What I about it Daniel? Did he write on Daniel? I don't know. I don't know that if because Daniel is studied in conjunction with Revelation. People Typically are afraid. Is. People are afraid to study Revelation. I think you're right, Bob. I think Revelation brings up a lot of questions because it talks about a lot of things that we don't understand, and it talks a lot about the future. And it's hard to know the future. So that's coming up next hour. And so if you have ever read the Book of Revelation or you want to study the Book of Revelation, Kevin Johnson, he's done the work for you. Uh, and he's got lots of answers to your questions. And so next hour, I want to open up the phone lines and give you the opportunity to call in and ask Kevin Johnson questions. Uh, so go ahead and write this number down. It's the number we give out every day here on Max World Live. That's 515-244-0077-0077. 515-244-0077 is the number. Always, always call any time you got a question. And next hour, we're going to be talking about Revelation. This hour, we're going to be talking about politics. My guest this hour is Shane Vanderhart of Caffeinated Thoughts. He's also a broadcaster here on the station. He and Brian Myers co-host a program called Caffeinated Thoughts Radio, which airs every Saturday at 8 a.m. Uh, so that's tomorrow. You can listen to that. But Shane's going to be our guest today, and we're going to be talking with Shane in just a minute. And Frank has something burning on Burn. his mind. Now, since Mac isn't here, uh -oh. can, do we get to rename this show Bob's World, Chris's World, Frank's World? It's party time. It's excellent. Party on, Chris. Party on, Bob. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> party on. Party on. 
Um, no, it, it, it's still Max World. Because you know why it's still Max World, Frank? I'll tell you why. Because the thing I love about Max World is it's, it really is your voice that I want to hear. Isn't that true? I, I think true. that is... It has historically been true about Max World. Max Show has always been a great place where we all, the you and the me, get to get together and talk about whatever it is that's on Max mind. Mac is just really great at coming up with stuff to yak about, and we all get to weigh in, and I love that about him. And so your voice is always welcome. If you've got any questions or comments, 515-244-0077. And on that phone line right now is a, a good friend of mine, host of Caffeinated Thoughts Radio and uh, master CEO of uh, CaffeinatedThoughts.com. Shane, welcome to the program. Hey, does that title come with a pay raise? I'm yeah, curious. Yes, it does. Hmm. Awesome. 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 Hey, I just wanted to weigh in on something you said about John Calvin. Um, he actually said regarding Revelation, he said, who can understand it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, I, I, believe he, I believe he even wrote a book, a, a, or excuse me, a commentary on the book of Daniel as well. So, um, it, it, it's fascinating. Revelation is fascinating. I'm going to have to listen in to Kevin and hear what he has to say. Oh, I definitely encourage you to. Now, Shane, you are more than just uh, the founder, CEO, head honcho over at caffeinatedthoughts.com, uh, which is a great website. I encourage everybody to go to. It's a great place to get uh, uh, not just national news, but a lot of local Iowa news, uh, faith and values conversations going on over there. Shane, you're not only there, not only do you host a radio program, uh, every week here on 99.3, but you are a pastor as well, right? I was. Actually, I was in youth ministry for 20 years. Um, I, I did uh, as youth pastor. I, I uh, worked for a parachurch uh, youth ministry working with juvenile offenders and high-risk youth. I used to say uh, when I worked with this organization called Serve Our Youth that 100% of my youth group was incarcerated which always got me strange stares. <laughs> I bet uh, it would. <laughs> yeah, I was, I've been an interim pastor. Uh, I helped start a evangelical free church down in Indiana. So yeah, so I, uh, 20, yeah, good 20 years of my life was spent doing that. Now I'm uh, doing social media and communications consulting. And I basically, I, my kids ask me what, how do we tell our friends what you do? I just say, just tell them my Facebook tweet and blog for a living. Oh man, you got so. the job, man. Facebook tweet and blog for a living. Frank, Frank wants that job. He wants yeah. somebody to pay him to, to Facebook, to tweet, but you don't just Facebook and you don't just get down there and uh, you Facebook and tweet for for companies. You handle their social media, right? Right. Yeah, I have I have different organizations I work with, and um, so it's not just yeah we're doing my own personal stuff for caffeinated thoughts. A lot of people don't realize caffeinated thoughts is more of a hobby than it really is a job. I mean, yeah. uh, so it's a passion. I love doing. It. I've been doing it since 2006, and it's been fun doing the radio program too. Absolutely. Well, you guys, I just read that uh, you guys, uh, for once, I don't know for once, but at least the most recently, have become national news yourselves in that uh, caffeinatedthoughts.com, uh, your website, uh, just was mentioned by Breitbart, uh, mm-hmm. in that you guys have come out, both the radio program and the website, have come right. out and endorsed a candidate early here in the primaries. Well, it's it's not necessarily early for me. I, I've always personally endorsed this. Is the first time I've done a joint endorsement as caffeinated thoughts before. It's always been an endorsement just under my own name. Yeah, on the website. Um, typically, I've always I, well in 2008 I did it really early, but that was when I was pretty new at blogging. Um, so was a, that was actually in 2007. Uh, in, two, in 2012 or actually 2011, I, I waited until November. Um, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to endorse, you know, in the summertime, I thought that was too early. I wanted to see how the field shaped up. And we felt like November was, was, uh, um, late enough where we felt like we could really give the campaigns a good look, a uh, good look, look over and, and, um, still be able to, you know, have our endorsement, perhaps do some good for a campaign as well as if we want to do some volunteer work and, and, and uh, help uh, plug a campaign for the next three months before the caucus, we can do that. Well, I tell you what, Shane Vanderhart is my guest. He's with caffeinatedthoughts.com. It's a great blog and radio program uh, that you can listen to every Saturday morning. But Shane, I got I to gotta say, and we talked about this a little bit today uh, already, but a lot of Christian broadcasters, uh, a lot of talk show folks have come out, uh, I shouldn't say a lot. It seems like a lot to me because two other guys <laughs> that are on every day on 99.3 have come out. Steve Dace 
And uh, mm-hmm. Dr. Michael Brown just this week, uh, Dr. Michael Brown put his name, both those guys put their name behind Ted Cruz. But you went yep. with Bobby Jindal. Why, why Governor Jindal is your endorsement here? Well, uh, basically, if it boils down to um, experience, yeah. uh, I, I've been I, I've I've been watching Governor Jindal for a number of years. I've been impressed with his record in in Louisiana, uh, even before he ran for. He's even thinking about running for president. He was somebody I respected and admired. Um, he, I, I believe that he has a, a resume that, by any standard, is is impressive. I've seen how he governs. Um, He's actually the really the only candidate, and it's it's an accurate statement to say the only candidate who has actually cut government spending, not just not just you know reduced our budget, not not just uh, but actually you know his one budget one year was less than the year before. They didn't just slow the rate of spending; he actually cut it um, and cutting government jobs, and by doing that has been able to lower taxes in Louisiana. And they've also seen uh, private job creation go up in Louisiana, uh, so that that's been impressive. That that's that's probably one of the the top things I I would say with his record I've seen. Um, I've also been impressed with how he's been willing to fight uh, for conservative values, yeah. whether it's the Second Amendment, whether yeah. it's religious liberty. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I love what he did to all those folks that were standing up with Planned Parenthood. We'll talk about that more. Bobby Jendall, Shane Vanderhart is my guest of CaffeinatedThoughts.com. You're listening to Max World Live. I'm Chris Roloff, live on the Truth Network, 99.3 FM. Stick around. We got way more to talk about. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can give these grandkids back, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We can help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi, my name is David Burrier, your Hope Coach. I host a live weekly talk show called I've Been There every Thursday afternoon at 5.30, right here on webcastonelive.com and on my weekly radio program Saturday mornings at 10 on Truth Network 99.3 FM. I interview common everyday people who have survived incredible life challenges and who testify to God's faithfulness in the midst of their storms. So join me as we bring a message of hope and encouragement. Everybody needs hope. I know, because I've been there. Whether you're 10, 25, 50, 80 years old and beyond, everyone needs to live within their means. I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America. For almost a quarter of a century, we've helped people of all ages learn to manage their personal finances to benefit them far into the future. When problems arise, we've got the experience you need to make those debt problems go away. Got financial problems? Call Consumer Credit of America. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live.
321 on a Friday afternoon. I was going to say Thursday. It's already Friday. That means your weekend is almost here, friends. And I hope that you've got a lot of fun things planned. I know where I'm going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be at the Freedom Conference 2015. Well, who am I? I'm Chris Roloff, and I'm filling in for J. Michael McCoy. This is Max World Live right here on 99.3 FM. And I thank you so much for uh, for listening to this program. We know, as Mac often says, you've got a lot of choices uh, here in the Des Moines metro area of things you can be listening to, but you choose to come here, and I thank you for that. Uh, we definitely have just been... <laughs> The, the flood of new listeners uh, since 98.3, uh, just uh, to our south on the dial, has changed to music, Bob, has just been incredible. Yeah, well, it's not just music. It's a certain kind right. of It music. is classic hip-hop. Yeah. Because the powers that be said, you know what Des Moines is lacking? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. There's not <laughs> enough Snoop Dogg in Des Moines. Ryan, our He's producer, yes. is like, yes, I agree with you 100%. There's not enough Snoop Dogg well, in town. Let's use that term music loosely. Oh, come on now, Frank. <laughs> you're going you're, you're gonna to be called a racist here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, so uh, our guest today for the first hour, uh, I definitely want you guys to, 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 to keep in mind that next hour at 4 o'clock, we're going to be talking about the book of Revelation. Boy, I got, I got uh, I'm hoping we, for a lot of questions. So your voice is always welcome on this radio program, 515-244-0077 is the number you can call to weigh in on any of the stuff that we're talking about. But this hour, my guest is Shane Vanderhart. Uh, he's with CaffeinatedThoughts.com, and he hosts Caffeinated Thoughts Radio every Saturday morning at 8. Shane, look, we're, we're talking about this, um, and you guys just came out and endorsed Bobby Jindal. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the things that I like about Bobby Jindal is that he seems to be sincerely a believer. I think that his faith isn't just lip service. I I get the impression that the guy might actually might actually be a Christian. Shane, did that, did that uh, weigh into your decision at all that Bobby Jindal is a follower of Jesus Christ? Um, Well, certainly it doesn't. I mean, (sighs) We look at worldview, and so certainly that factors in. And yeah, definitely a profession, a clear profession of Christ is is definitely a plus. Um, I'm not going to say that I would not endorse somebody who wasn't a Christian, because I I remember Martin Luther even said he'd rather be governed by a wise Turk than a foolish Christian. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just, you know, looking at the field. But I I think Bobby Jindal is a strong man of faith. Um, would we have certainly some theological disagreements? Absolutely. He's Catholic. I'm an evangelical. Um, but I, I remember uh, I, I got to hear him speak at Brain Assembly of God, where the sole focus was on talking about faith issues. And some of the things that he, he brought up was something I were things that I had not heard really any other candidate talk about, which I you know, obviously they set up a forum for him to do that, but it right. was still pretty interesting. So, yeah, definitely I think he has a sincere faith in Jesus Christ. Um, and it's it's evident to me that his his uh, worldview guides how he governs. Frank's got a question. Yeah. Well, uh, Jindal, the things that I've heard him talk about on TV, some of his commercial ads, I'm very impressed with. But um, the issue, this is not a normal election cycle. We have such a, a revolt by conservative voters for uh, to, to oust political insiders. We've gotten rid of Cantor. We've gotten rid of John Boehner. Uh, they, I, I've heard Mitch McConnell's head is the next on the chopping block. Uh, w- w- this country is in open revolt on the right. Right. And they want a political outsider, whether it be Fiorina, Carson, Trump. So how do you fight against the wave of that when you endorse somebody like Jindal, who is polling at a pretty low percent? Well, he's starting to, I would say, first of all, scrap national polls. They're meaningless. In Iowa, he's starting to gain traction. And he's doing it without having a presence on the primetime stage, which tells me that he's working hard. And you want to you want to put your support behind a candidate who's willing to really get out and earn your vote. Um, it's questionable how much Trump and Carson and Fiorina are doing that here in Iowa when we barely see them in the state. Um, so my my response to your to, to your comment would be, um, I want I want an outsider too, 
But I want, some, but also I understand the commander in chief is not a entry level position, and I want to see somebody who has experience, who has experience governing, but who also has a reputation for fighting the establishment. And Bobby Jindal has both. No, you uh, you bring up something interesting though. Ted Cruz has some experience. So how do you what what are the key differences? And I hate to bring up Ted, but he's one that gets right uh, in evangelical circles. Look, we Huckabee. We really wanted Huck. I wanted Huckabee uh, to to win the presidency last time he ran, but but he didn't. And and I'm on I'm on the list of folks that look at Huckabee this time around and go, really, what's going to be different this time? And and I love I love Huck, but I just feel like well, you know, we've got so many new people. Uh, running right now that are interesting to me that are exciting to me and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna admit ted cruz is interesting to me bobby jendall is very interesting to me my wife absolutely thinks he's wonderful he resonates with ladies really well and i've noticed that well, but 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 hang on just a minute frank but what what do you see the key differences because ted cruz is definitely a man of faith bobby mm-hmm. jendall is definitely a man of faith uh right. they both have experience um they both they've both been in uh are maybe ready to take the next step, as you said. I like that. I agree with you 100%, Shane. The presidency of the United States is not an entry-level job. Uh, we, got a, <laughs> we got a Facebook message to the radio station uh, just today from a guy I've never heard of in my entire life, and he says, I'm running as a Christian in the Republican Party, and I want to be the next president of the United States. I would like to run commercials on your station. And I, I did, <laughs> okay, you know, well, we'll see. Uh, you know, right. uh, really, uh, do we need that many more names? There are a lot of names in here. So my question to you, Shane, is when you look at Ted Cruz on one side, Bobby Jindal on the other side, where do you see the key differences uh, between the two of them? What are what are some differences? Sure. And I, I just want to say, first off, I, I I have nothing but respect for Senator Cruz. I've been able to meet with him. I've talked. I've interviewed him on a couple of occasions. He is a great man. Um, I appreciated what he's what he's been doing in the in the Senate, and and we need more Ted Cruz's in the U.S. Senate, and I hope that will happen. Um, to kind of two two well two things. One is as far as terms of experience, I, I, I would say Jindal probably has a greater amount of experience. Um, he, he's on a second term as as governor of Louisiana. Senator Cruz is still in his first term as U.S. Senator. Um, also, Governor Jindal served two terms in the U.S. House. Uh, so in, in terms of, of service, I would say uh, Jindal's probably got more experience. Uh, in ter- also, the second thing I think that would make uh, Jindal different than, than uh, Cruz, and again, it's not I, – I, I'll, I'll be completely honest, Cruz is my number two. Um, it was our, our choice became between it was up between uh, Ted Cruz and, and, and Bobby Jindal. Shane, let me uh, ask you, do you think that Jindal being in the executive branch of the government specifically, is that is that a is that enough of a difference? Even just that that he's well, been that, in that role, at least on a state level. Right. Well, that's always been kind of my proclivity. I, I've always tended to like governors. Uh if we've had a good choice of governors, obviously uh, I, I picked Santorum in 2012 um, because I wasn't <laughs> wasn't too thrilled with the the governors who were running. Um, but Jindal's he's been he's been uh, a fighter. Uh, he's he's anti-establishment, which I appreciate. I mean he's he said some pretty tough things to the Republican Party and, and to the D.C. Republican establishment. Uh, so you know I. I Republicans don't necessarily make great presidents. I want to. I want to be clear about that. But <laughs> there is there. Is, you do get to see. You do get a sense of how they'll govern. Um, unlike a U.S. senator, you, you don't necessarily get that 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 uh, um, perspective. Absolutely. Now, U.S. senators sometimes will have a little more. Uh, they'll have a leg up on foreign policy. So there's that. That's something sure. to consider as well. Shane Vanderhart is my guest. He's with Caffeinated Thoughts Radio. CaffeinatedThoughts.com is where you can find out more about him. Their website, uh, blog, uh, really just a news mecca. If you want to know what's going on, I definitely encourage you to go over to CaffeinatedThoughts.com. Uh, sign up for their uh, regular newsletter. Just get in their RSS feed. But their their website, their blog, their whole organization, their radio program has come out just this morning and endorsed 
uh, Governor Bobby Jindal uh, to be the next president of the United States. He, they, they recommend him. They're giving him the big thumbs up. Uh, it's kind of a big deal uh, when outlets like yourself, Shane, endorse a particular candidate. Uh, mm-hmm. You guys have the power um, as, a, as, a, as a sort of a, an information center with a radio program uh, and uh, the web presence. Uh, so um, it's cool that you guys are doing that. There's a lot of people that are coming out to me early, but in, this, in the primary time, you got to back somebody, maybe find somebody that you can coalesce around. Uh, Frank's got a question for you, Shane. Well, it's uh, sure. uh, more directed towards Chris. Uh, going back to the comments. Let me you- remind everybody, since Frank's on the mic, that if you want to join in and add your opinion, just like Frank gets to every day right here, you can do that. If you've got an opinion, are you going to vote for Bobby Jindal? Would you Would you endorse uh, Bobby Jindal? Is he your guy? Is he not your guy? I want to hear from you. 515-244-0077. That's the call number. You can call in, be live on the radio, tell me why I should vote for Bobby Jindal, why I shouldn't or whatever, or maybe tell Shane that he's right on. 515-244-0077. Well, Frank, going go back to your comment on Huckabee, all the political insiders I heard talk about, even when even when Huckabee was going strong against McCain, he had no ability to raise money. And if he didn't have any ability to raise money then, his abilities is definitely not much better now. So I would ask, I guess, Shane, what's what's Jindal's uh, record of raising money? How How's he doing as compared to every, everyone else? Oh. He's, I'll be honest. He's he's not doing very well in that regard. You got a crowded field, and raising money is very very difficult. Um, his 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 pathway to victory really has to be through Iowa. If he doesn't win Iowa or he come in second, then his his ability to raise funds or future potential to raise fund funds will totally dry up, and and you know there won't really be a pathway forward for him. So. Um, so yeah, any fun, any potential fundraising he does will be predicated on him doing well in the Iowa caucus. Well, Shane, let me also ask you this. Uh, what, what are we currently at now? Uh, 14 candidates? I believe so. I mean, okay. Counted, but yeah, we're By the there. Iowa caucus, how many do you think that'll be whittled down to? Or af- pardon me, after the Iowa caucus, uh, you know, those, in other words, Iowa was a springboard for Santorum to build some momentum coming out right. of Iowa. Obviously, you better be one, two, or three in the state. Uh, right. After Iowa, how small do you potentially see the field being? I think I, I, I see. Uh, I believe we'll we'll see some candidates drop out of the, out of the Iowa caucus. You've got some candidates that are really pulling low in in both uh, Iowa and in New Hampshire. So I wouldn't be surprised. To, well. I was going to say Graham, but I think Graham would actually, he'll probably hold on until South Carolina. Yeah. Um, I think Pataki will be out. Honestly, I don't know how much longer Santorum will stay in. I think he'll definitely stay in until the Iowa caucus, but if he doesn't, kind of like Jindal, I, he's banking on the Iowa caucus, and if he doesn't do well, he's probably going to be out. Shane uh, Vanderhart is our guest. Uh, he is with CaffeinatedThoughts.com. It's a great website. Check out caffeinatedthoughts.com. You can find out more about Shane Vanderhart. Read all these great articles. Get informed on the issues. Their website and radio program that's heard Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. They just came out this morning and endorsed Bobby Jindal. Who do you think should be the next president of the United States? 515-244-0077 is the number. I'm Chris Roloff. You're listening to the new 99.3 FM. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. I'm Brian Leach, owner of Service Legends, and my position is Chief Talent Officer. I'm Nicholas Wondershide. I am Bernie Hobbs. And I'm the Service Manager. Marketing Director and Client Relations Manager. Everything that we do is about ensuring that we exceed your expectations. Our clients are important to us, 100% satisfaction. We're not just focused on heating and cooling. That's the easiest part of our job, actually, is fixing furnaces and air conditioners. Everyone that we come in touch with, we want to improve lives. Bottom line is, we've got our installation guarantees, 25% energy savings guarantee, comfort guarantee, temperature selection guarantee, property protection guarantee. 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fixed rate or it's free. All of those guarantees are backed up with a 100% money back guarantee to hold ourselves accountable to making sure that you get what you're after. Just fixing the problem today, if they have another problem five days down the road, it's still fixed rate or it's free. We use what's called straightforward pricing. Our technicians are gonna give you an exact to the penny price on what it's gonna take before they move forward with any repair. That way you know what to expect. 
It's the same price every day. No surprises. If you get off work at five o'clock in the afternoon, you come home, you realize that, oh, my furnace is broken. Now you need to call somebody out that night. You shouldn't have to pay more for that. We're guaranteeing service 24-7. We run afternoons, evenings, nights, weekends. We're staffed to work that. Phone rings at 3 in the morning. You'll get one of our representatives answering the phone every time. We're not sending you out to Timbuktu in some call center. It's our service legend team members, our mission control team. I'll take a call anytime. And then they answer the phones same way during the day as they do at night. It's a great day at your service company. How can we make you smile? That's the only way to provide true 24-hour service. When you're able to let somebody actually live in their home safely when they weren't able to do that before, where they don't have to stay up at night and worry about, is the heat going to come back on? Are we going to freeze the pipes? Is the baby in the room next door going to be sick because they got too cold? When you're able to help somebody overcome challenges like that, that's impacting a life. That makes a difference. I get goosebumps thinking about it. I love the team. I love the people that I work with. <laughs> we have fun, but we work hard. I call them my ambassadors of legendary service. If you could just envision what that is, that's who we're sending to your home. They literally will call in, pick up the phone and call and say, hey, I want to talk to your manager. And I get on the phone, they're like, that technician that was at my house was the greatest technician ever. That's cool to me. We want to brighten people's days. Every person that we have going into the house has gone through an extensive background check. Drug testing, we have a very thorough interview process that one out of 140 people make it through. If we promise you something, that's what you're going to get, no matter what. We're here when you need us to protect the safety and comfort of your family. If you're not happy, we're gonna make it right. If we're willing to put 100% money back guarantee on what we do, what type of work do you think we do? Give us a call. We're there for you 24-7, 365 days a year. Enough said. Good afternoon. It is 3.38 on November 6th, 2015, and the most important thing you want to know right now is it's Friday. I'm excited about it. I know there's lots of people around the world that are excited about it being Friday and have big plans for the weekend. Hey, let me ask you a weather-related question, Bob. Yeah? Is the weather going to be nice this weekend? Because during this week, the weather has been a little nice and warm. I mean, getting out and running around. Some of this week, anyway. Do you think what are you, what are they saying for this weekend? Do you know? No, but I watch the weather quite a bit. You do, so you'll be up on top of it. Well, yeah, because you know, being a farmer, right? You know that matters to me. It does. Yeah, you know, I went to college and did all that stuff. Had nothing to do with farming. <laughs> Worked for thirty five years in a different industry, and you know, it's the wave of the future. It's the wave. Of, farming is the future. Uh, you're talking about after death or what? Well, you know what? Uh, well, let's not get it. We're, we're going to be talking about life after death in the future next hour. <laughs> Four o'clock, uh, Kevin Johnson will be our guest next hour, and we're going to be talking about the Book of Revelation, Open Phone Fridays, as always. If you have anything you want to talk about right now, I mean, you want to talk about the weather, that's fine. 515-244-0077. We had a caller in the break, and, and they just wouldn't talk to Ryan, our producer. They just they wouldn't talk to him. And he, he made the saddest face. I've never seen him more discouraged. <laughs> I, he was, I thought he was going to cry. I had to go in there and comfort him. I was going to, but then the show started, and I couldn't put my arm around him and hug him. Somebody done gone and broke Ryan's heart. This is unacceptable. So if you want to call in and, and just encourage Ryan, you don't got to talk to me, Chris Roloff. You don't got to talk to Frank or Bob or anybody else. Just call in and encourage Ryan. Well, He's I, having a tough day. I'll encourage him right now. 515. Yeah. Because what happens is when you call from work and the boss walks in, oh. you got to hang up right away. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's right. Did you get, did somebody, ooh, did somebody get caught trying to call in? You know what you can do, actually. Uh, if you want to get in on the show, uh, there's two ways that you can get into this room without calling in. You can go to webcastonelive.com, and there's a chat there. You'll see our, our faces. There's a video screen where you can look at us and chat there. Also, if you go to Facebook and you like uh, the Truth Network 99.3 FM, I've got our station chat up, and you can say things there. Uh, Niels uh, is already weighing in and very excited about the Revelation discussion next hour. So, but today we're talking right now, this hour, we're talking with Shane Vanderhart, who I have rudely left on the phone, speaking of the phones, uh, who's is with caffeinatedthoughts.com and the host of his own radio program. You would never do that to a guest, would you, Shane? No, never, never. You guys are way more efficient. 
You know, if you listen to Caffeinated Thoughts, they talk about in one hour that would take us here at Max World like a week to talk about. You guys just cover everything, boom, one hour done, and you, that's all you need to know. And don't they dress yeah, in suits all the when, time, too? They dress really nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah when, you, when you said you're going to have me on the entire hour, it's like, really? Wow. <laughs> but now you're starting to see how it works, right, Shane? We just, we just fill the time, brother. We fill the time. No, I think we have a good time. Great. I'm just, you know, when you met, you mentioned that you're on Webcast One Live, I'm just happy I'm on the phone because I have a face for radio. Oh, so. Shane, you and me both. And you know what's really funny? I was going to point this out. You probably can't see it on my shirt, but I have Mexican food stain on my shirt. And see, oh, nice. you, you'd never see that on the radio, and I won't have to be self-conscious about it on the radio. But right. on a webcam, I've got this red stain because I like salsa and I'm the guy I'm the guy that you go out to eat with at a Mexican restaurant that doesn't just stick his chip in the salsa, dip it, and pull it back out. I try to use the chip like a spoon and try to oh, yeah. try to dig down in there and get as much as I can and then try to be real still, <laughs> get it to my face. It never works, Shane. It never works. It always gets well, on my shirt. you got to bring the bowl up to you. Well, see, but then that freaks out your wife because she's like, you're going to drool into the bowl, and then it's just <laughs> nasty for everybody else at the, at the dinner it's table. Your, it, it's your wife. You guys should be used to sharing germs. We, yep, that's true. That's Ask the server for another little bowl. That's true. Yeah, see, the yeah, place we went, everybody gets their own bowl. They're very hygienic. Everybody gets their own. You know, they uh, give you the little, like, carafe of salsa dip. that you can dump in everybody's And you bowl. can double dip. And then you can double dip, triple dip. Then what I can do is I can put a bunch of extra salt in there or Tabasco sauce if I want to crank it up. You know, if I really want it spicy. Uh, this this hour brought to you by salsa. You'll have to get you some blue out, like my eccentric blue buddy. Out. Yeah, my like my eccentric old buddy that used to have a white shirt that he took white out, covered up all the ink stains and coffee stains. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm going to need to buy. I'll just keep that with me at all times. Uh, so, Shane, we've got some more time to spend with you here, buddy. And um, uh, you guys have come out and endorsed Bobby Jindal. And, I, and I'll tell you, I, I like him. I like him. You said that you, you appreciated the fact that he was really, truly cutting the budget there in Louisiana. Right. Is that right? Right. Yeah. So... I, we think you think he can do it on a national level, or do you think that it's just too difficult? Do you think the president really can get that done if he were to get elected? The president has the power of the veto. So, yeah, uh, I, I think he can get that done. He can force cuts. Now, it's, it's not going to be easy because um, he's going to have to kick, you know, drag, you know, Congress kicking and screaming along the way if they're unwilling to do it. But um, I, I believe, you know, he's shown leadership in Louisiana to do that because. Uh, you know, Louis, the Louisiana state legislature wasn't, you know, necessarily uh, all excited about cutting spending drastically like this as well. Um, and really kind of how how they accomplished this in Louisiana, um, I, I've read and seen them talk with, with Jindal staffers down in Louisiana, was they, they would, I mean, these massive cut, uh, tax cuts forced the legislature to cut ta- cut spending because they and they, lo- they had lost revenue, so they didn't have a choice. And I, I've heard uh, people criticize Governor uh, Jindal's tax reform plan, saying, "Well, we're not going to have an, that much revenue, you know, coming in, or as much revenue coming in." It's like, yeah, that's by design. <laughs> right? You want to have more, more? Yeah, want to have less coming in so that you're not spending it on silly and useless things. Frank, what do you got? Right. Hey. Uh, uh, Go ahead. It, yeah, it'll force spending cuts. Right. Because um, you, you won't have a choice. Right? right. You won't have a choice. If you don't got the money, you can't spend it. You know, it, it, those things are supposed to work in my house. But what right. I do is I go down to my bank and they say, you know what? You're pre-approved for a credit card. And I say, well, give me 12 more. And uh, no, that would be bad. Well, that's what the U.S. Congress does. That's what they do. I know. It's, it's right. absolutely crazy. You know what? I... <laughs> Bobby Jindal, I believe it was Bobby who said that. Bobby, I'm on a first name basis. We hang out a lot. Governor yeah. Jindal said at uh, your event, Caffeinated Thoughts Briefing, the annual briefing that uh, just ended uh, was last month, the end of the month. He said mm-hmm. at y'all's event something that was very smart, and I can't remember what it is now. See how I do that? <laughs> and it was really awesome. If I would have had it written down, I would have remembered what it was. So awesome. now I have to defer to Frank. Awesome to the awesome degree of awesomeness. Yes. Uh, well, uh, we have a plethora of good governors 
Uh, and good governor stories from Kasich to uh, to Christie to Jeb, Jeb Bush to Jindal. What's making the difference for you? I mean, obviously, faith is 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 a good thing. Jindal's got a great story, um, mm-hmm. you know. But but take Chris Christie in, in in a state that is, by all intents and purposes, blue. To accomplish what he accomplished is is, is a pretty good story. So, what's making the difference for you? Well, uh, Governor Jindal's actually a conservative. Uh, you know, I don't need, need to be snarky about that, but it's true. Kasich is not a conservative. Jeb Bush has done some conservative things, but his his uh, his guy his his guiding center is not you know is not in conservative principles. Christie, uh, what has he really accomplished? He's vetoed some things, but well, honestly, he done some, he According really to some reports that I heard, he done some awesome footwork in getting some uh, governors elected in some blue states the last election uh, season. Well, okay, um, you know that's just uh, some some things that I've 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 heard that he's done well. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, one of the things you pointed out earlier, Shane, was that Ted Cruz, uh, as an example, or someone in in uh, in Washington has dealt with some more international stuff. Has his governor had uh, Jindal had any international relations as he had to work with uh, international folks? Uh, let's talk about that when we get back. Shane Vanderhart is my guest. Caffeinated Thoughts Radio. Caffeinated Thoughts dot com is his website. Just this morning, uh, his organization has come out and backed Bobby Jindal. You think it was a good idea? I, I don't know. I don't know who I'm for. Who are you uh, going to be caucusing for uh, here coming up in a few months? 515-244-0077 is the number to call and answer that question on the new 99.3 FM. Credit cards are like grandkids. They love you, sometimes get out of control, and it's fun to get a new one. Who can stop them from piling on? Hi, I'm Tom Coach with Consumer Credit of Des Moines. At the end of the day, you can return the grandkids, but you're stuck paying off bad credit card debt. We'll help you put the fun back into using credit cards responsibly. Right, kids? Yeah! If you need help getting credit cards off your back, call Consumer Credit of Des Moines. Hi. My name is David Burrier, your Hope Coach. I host a live weekly talk show called I've Been There every Thursday afternoon at 5.30, right here on webcast1live.com and on my weekly radio program Saturday mornings at 10 on Truth Network 99.3 FM. I interview common everyday people who have survived incredible life challenges and who testify to God's faithfulness in the midst of their storms. So join me as we bring a message of hope and encouragement. Everybody needs hope. I know, because I've been there. Whether you're 10, 25, 50, 80 years old and beyond, everyone needs to live within their means. I'm Tom Coates with Consumer Credit of America. For almost a quarter of a century, we've helped people of all ages learn to manage their personal finances to benefit them far into the future. When problems arise, we've got the experience you need to make those debt problems go away. Got financial problems? Call Consumer Credit of America. From the REMAX Real Estate Concept Studios, this is Webcast One Live. Well, good afternoon. It is 3.50 on this Friday afternoon right here in central Iowa. Uh, call in and let me know what the weather's like outside, huh? We don't got windows in here. 515-244-0077. And I want to know if it's going to be nice this weekend. I'm Chris Roloff, sitting in for J. Michael McCoy. He's the host of Max World Live, which is this radio program every weekday afternoon from 3 to 5 p.m. on the new 99.3 FM. And the reason why we say it's new, not because we're just arrived, but because you just found us. We're overwhelmed with all the new listeners that we've had flooding into this radio station in the past several weeks, uh, many of them calling in to this radio station during this very program and sharing how much they've appreciated this station. We thank you so much for listening. 
We are so honored that you like what you hear. Just yesterday, Frank had a, had a guy come up to me and say, you know, I've known that there was a Christian radio station like you guys in town for a long time. He knows me. He said, you know, I, I know you. I know the Christian radio station. But he had the assumption, Frank, that Christian radio was going to sound like this. <laughs> and, you know, today we come to now for Sister Susie, who will sing to us a hymn today to remind us of... And, and he was just like, never gave us a chance because he figured, well, that's, that's what Christian radio is, right? And he said, since that other radio station went to the classic hip-hop stuff, he said, well, it was, uh, it was the AM station and you guys. And so he started checking us out, and he goes, wow, like, that's like legit radio. <laughs> and I said, well, thanks for finally listening. We try to do the it. The AM try to station do it. and us guys. The AM station and us guys. So, But it's just like the AM station. This is all local. This out three to five. This is about what's going on in Des Moines. You know, this radio program isn't heard anywhere else, but right here in central Iowa on 99.3 FM. And we've got a few more minutes with a good friend of mine, um, Shane Vanderhart, who is with caffeinatedthoughts.com. It's a great website, great radio program that you can listen to Shane. Shane, every Saturday at 8 a.m., and I encourage you to do so. Shane, give us, give, us your, give us your elevator pitch for why Caffeinated Thoughts has come out and endorsed Bobby Jindal. Uh, simply that he's, he's a man of character and integrity. He's a fighter. He has a, a fantastic resume that should, that's impressive on, on, on almost by any, by any standard. He... Uh, He's an ideas man. Um, he he's one of the the first. He was the first to put out a, a detailed policy plan for repealing and replacing Obamacare. Uh, he uh, has put out a good uh, education reform uh, platform. He has one on defense, on energy, on tax reform. So um, that would be, in a nutshell, that those things uh, that that impresses me, and that's why I encourage people to give him a look. Thank you so much, Shane Vanderhart. Uh, Russ uh, is with 99.3. He stepped up to the mic just a few minutes ago. Just a reminder, that everybody's in the studio. The regular cast of characters, Frank Diverse Thomas, Bob Motz, Red Cat and Hat, Ryan is producing, answering your phone calls just a minute ago. Uh, we got callers calling in, but Russ, uh, who's uh, account manager, marketing uh, ex, uh, expert, he's the guy who's going to help your business get on 99.3. He stepped in the studio. Russ, what do you think about this? What do you think about Bobby Jindal, man? I like Bobby Jindal, but uh, I really do like Bobby Jindal. Uh, but he's not my number one choice, or hasn't been. My number one choice has been Mr. Cruz. Yeah. Well, there, you know, and Shane, you would agree. He, Cruz was your number two, right? Right. And it is a close call. I mean, it, it's mm-hmm. it's they're they're very they're very tough. So could you see you? And this has got to be true. I mean. Are you hoping to see him win in Iowa? Are you committed? If if Jindal loses in Iowa, you're going to stick with him until he's completely out, huh? Oh yeah, I I, I believe in that. You know, as a, as a follower of Christ, my yes should be yes, my no should be no. Unless he has some some something comes out that would totally disqualify him, that I've made a commitment, I'm going to stick to it. Um, but it, should he bow out, I would certainly back Cruz. Yeah. It's tough. I hope, Cruz, Someone, I hope Cruz supporters would back Jindal and Jindal win. Yeah, no, I, I would imagine that I would imagine they would. You would hope they would. You know, I we had uh, Brad, I think it was, right? Was it Brad that uh, messaged in? What did he say on chat? Army Brad said something. Oh, he said uh, he brought up the citizenship with Cruz. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, then, yeah, that, that's we don't really have time for in a couple minutes. But a lot of people who talk about natural born citizenship, um, they try to apply. Uh, they, they they make reference to uh, one court case and some obscure writings, none of which make a compelling case because it's not. There isn't a clear definition other than a citizen who you know you're a citizen of the United States if you are born in the United States under the jurisdiction of the United States. Um, period. Whether your parents, whether your parents a citizen, a citizen, or whether you're born in the United States, those are the two criteria. A natural born, anybody else immigrating to the United States to be naturalized. Everybody else is natural born citizen. So, I don't necessarily buy the argument that Cruz and Jindal are not. Hey, Shane, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you being on the show with us. We're gonna. I think we're just gonna wrap up a little bit here. But Shane Vanderhart, uh, caffeinated thoughts. 
Com is his website. Definitely go check it out. This guy knows a lot of things about a lot of things. You're a big expert on Common Core, aren't you, Shane? Yeah, I talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a big Probably issue. More at TruthAmericanEducation.com, but I, we do we do talk about it. Caffeinated thoughts as well. What's what's the big trending uh, news piece on your website right now? <laughs> That'd be the endorsement right now. Wow. Okay. Okay. Second to the endorsement, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had a I had a couple pieces that are getting a lot of traffic. One was on Iowa's NAEP score, that's National Assessment Educational Progress. Post Common Core, we've been stagnant, and we've actually our scores have dropped. Mm. So some some uh, Common Core advocates have some pl- some explaining to do. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, a piece that was got a little traction was uh, my comments toward uh, Governor Branstad's approval of eminent domain use. Ooh, yeah. um, which I disagree. So, yeah, that's that is that is a big topic. I, one I want to get into, and hope Mac will address in a future broadcast. Shane, thank you so much for uh, coming on the show and hanging out with us for a little bit. I encourage everybody to uh, listen to Caffeinated Thoughts Radio tomorrow morning at eight a.m. Uh, and of course, this weekend. Uh, Shane Vanderhart and Brian Myers, the co-hosts of Caffeinated Thoughts Radio, will join Max World Live as we do a five-hour live broadcast from the Freedom Conference 2015, uh, live from the uh, Hy-Vee Hall. Uh, if you guys are going out to the Freedom Conference, if you're there now or you're headed there uh, tonight, uh, come see us tomorrow. We'll have a booth uh, set up. We'd love to meet you. We're going to be broadcasting live from there. Uh, and, of course, you can weigh in on your uh, opinions of the event there. We'll have a microphone open for all the attenders. Uh, and Shane, again, thank you for being with us. Next hour, uh, we are going to be talking about the book of Revelation. Uh, we've got lots of questions. I've got questions. Hopefully our guest, Kevin Johnson, will have some answers. If you've got a question about the book of Revelation, if you've read it, if there's something that confuses you, like what is the mark of the beast or why do we care about the mark of the beast or Antichrist, isn't isn't that just Obama? I, I I don't know. But if you've got questions about the book of Revelation or the whole prophecy thing in general, a good friend of mine, Kevin Johnson, I'm sure can can help answer some of those questions for you. The number to call in with your Revelation question is 515-244-0077, 515-244-0077. I'm Chris Roloff filling in for J. Michael McCoy. Our first hour has just flown by. We've got so much more to talk about next hour. Uh, But we're going to take a break, listen to Salem Radio Network News, and we'll come back with more of your voice right here on the all-new 99.3 FM.